Robin. Hello, gamer. Yeah, we're we're out here gaming. We're doing a little bit of goofing. Bum, bum, bum. Bonus Thursday stream. I feel like I should treat myself. Gaming what? I'm not sure. I want to play the new Dota patch, but they haven't fucking dropped it yet. They're still holding on to it. You're not in Missouri. You're an Evangelion movie. I should be practicing Fortnite. Nah, I need to go into the, the competition on Saturday with the experience of this one time. You wanna have a look at the competition? I have, I don't play shooting games. I have played Fortnite one time, which was on Thursday, was, was a week ago on Thursday with Gurglerg. I played Fortnite once. And in general, I don't play shooting games, so... Uh, whatever, whatever teams I end up on, I will be contributing a positive attitude. Ah. That is what I will be providing to my... to the Fortnite teams. Hi, Pizza, what's up? Okay, you are the carry, dude. I I can bring I can bring the fucking the good vibes. I I can be the good vibe bringer. That can be me. I'm very good at bringing good vibes. Oh yo 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 yo. I wish Dota would drop their update. Like, I want to read it. I want to read patch notes, dude. I love reading patch notes for Dota. How's everybody doing? How's your week going? Are you as hyped as I am? I'm pretty hyped. They're waiting, waiting for the ESL stuff to be over. Is a league player Dota is so confusing? Yeah, it's just league if like for every mechanic in league you added like a fucking drop down with 15 options and like made it a lot more complicated. You rehearsed for a flight? What, what, uh, what did you rehearse? Uh. For your Europe trip? For your Europe trip? I haven't been to Europe in a hot minute. Bonus stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, let's do... 
Should we do some coked out room world while we uh while we wait? A little bit of coked out room world. I'm waiting for the Dota 2 patch because I want to read it, but it hasn't dropped yet. Bum, 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 bum. Dude, I'm fucking unleashed. I can make whatever I want to now. I'm so hyped to just work in Blender. Like, I know the whole VR chat pipeline now. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. I can't be fucking stopped. That's what unstoppable means. Oh. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. I go to mods. I go to rim connect. I go to advanced. Mod options. I increase the silver per two minutes to 125. Update on server. Now everybody's going to be fucking crazy juiced. Yeah, Star, I'm fucking, I'm cracked, dude. Okay, I remember we got, we got Kedu and I did not do their whole spiel. Uh, paste. Assign. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, we need to go to the tailoring thing and make this go up to 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, maybe 13 actually. Okay. You don't exist yet. True. God, we have so many fucking people. So many people. We need more barracks still. Sheesh. God, we have like too many, we have too many dudes, too many people. Somebody supposed to sleep here? Yeah. Okay, um. We don't even have that many, we need more bricks, dude. Why is that not roofed? It is roofed. It just has weird lighting. Okay, whatever. Boo doo doo, boo doo doo, boo doo doo, boo doo doo doo. Oh god, what do we got already? Oh, making people better at medicine, Pog. Oh, yes, Kadoom. I've, I've juiced up the amount of silver people get because we're only going to be playing until Dota patches. Also, we are like so rapidly running out of food. Oh, we're actually completely out of food. Uh, that's a really big problem because we have 
increased rapidly in amount of people we have and we have not increased at all in uh amount of food we have uh we need food or we're gonna start starving does anybody have food to give us anybody anybody want to give us food smile smile every two minutes you're getting a bunch of silver we could use food or we're all gonna starve we are actually like imminently going to starve i wait until someone in chat has confirmed that they're sending food or we're all going to die Or we will all perish. Mm. Nutrient paste, kibble. All right, baby food. <laughs> All right, well, I need somebody to like imminently go. Thank you. You're still eyeing the baby. Husky meat. That'll do. Do I still have somebody on cooking? Yeah. Speaking of cooking, um, masterwork. Masterwork wooden bed. That's cool. Roof collapse. Ron was crushed by a roof. Where did the roof collapse? What did you do? I, I do not understand what you did, Ron, to crush a roof on yourself. Weird champ. Actually, let's finish all of that before we do it. Ah, oh, finally. Uh, I want sterile materials for the love of God. Um, uh, we need like so many bricks, dude. People are still missing beds. Has anybody played with you? You're hungry. Oh wait, you're getting fed. You're fine. You're fine. Ah. Uh, hey, doo, doo what's up? Okay. Um.
All right, so here's my plan. Why can't I just make a wooden butcher table? Can you only make- is it- well, I know I have no wood. I guess I have to get wood. That would be why. Ah. Oh. Well, yeah, so if you don't know, we have a mod on where you gain silver. Wait, no, you know, because you, you, yeah, so we need, uh, <laughs> we've gained people far faster than we've had time to, like, plant shit, basically. Sneezy is wandering around because of their dementia. Understandable. We have completely run out of marble tile again. Uh, Kasawari is fighting Kadoom and losing. Do you need anything in particular right now? Oh, the patch is delayed? Cringe. Uh, yes, we need bricks. Cause I just need to be able to build more of our base. Because the, the problem is we've gained people far faster than I've been able to expand the base. Uh. Okay, marble blocks. That helps with floors. We need granite blocks for uh, making actual structures. Alright, we're finally acquiring some wood. So I should be able to... Actually, let me look. Wooden butcher table. I want to know. Do you like have a higher work speed or something? Minus 15%. Work speed factor 100%. Does steel make it any better? No. Alright, so then we might as well have it be made out of wood. Okay. Bad temperature. Whatever, we can fix that later. Uh. Hog. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to have that be there. And then we can have... Uh... Do th is there a thing that helps with stoves? I know there's like tool cabinet. So the cool tool cabinet does not. Oh, I guess because those aren't built yet. Do we? Does anybody know tool cabinet helps cooking? Ah. Oh. Oh, should I replace my granite doors with uh, door opening speed 45%? What is the door opening speed of steel doors? Hundred percent. Oh. 
that is much slower. Maybe we should replace our doors then. At least the like main access way doors. How pretty is this door anyway? Doesn't matter. Bedroom and the outer walls are fine to me, stone. I guess, well, they go inside and outside often though. So I do, I do want those to become steel at some point. Uh oh. There's a mad rat. Uh, and a bunch of fucking people we're definitely getting owned by because we have not had time to set up any defenses because we've excl- Again, the problem is we're taking on more people and needing to build more shit to fucking like keep them alive in than we have had time to like build defenses or like do literally anything. Oh god, okay. Um... They're like over there, I don't know. Uh... Can you build things? Shoot frenzy for 10 and some bolt action rifles. One of which has crashed through our ceiling because I need to fucking move this shit. The shit doesn't crash through our fucking ceiling. Too close to the map edge. Hug. Ah, uh, okay, so who, who even can fight? You have a gun, you should, you're building something. Can you go get a gun? You have a gun. You can only use melee weapons. Did you get your longsword back? No. You have a gun. You need a better gun. You can have this one. I don't- you're not good enough at shooting to, like, need a gun. Alright. Lavish meals. Okay, that's cool. Chain shotgun. Uh... I do have a gun. Kedo, you can have a chain shotgun. You, get up from sleeping and, like, go help defend the colony. Who is, like, losing a fight to the rat right now? The rat has definitely chased somebody, for sure. Who's... Where is the mad rat? Or did we kill it? I guess we already killed it. Something killed it. Okay. What? No, go do it now. Don't fucking do it while you're napping. I'll never do hauling. Alright, cool. Uh, now we vibe for a bit and hope. Hope and cope. They're beginning their assault, huh? Alright, well, Sneezy. You hide in a corner. 
Uh, everybody else. I guess. Get ready for war. All right, we we save again. We save over feeding the baby to Gray. Hi, Sarah. All right. That is not enough traps to stop our gamers. All right, everybody's shooting Sneezy in the back as intended. Where's your bed? Oh. Masterwork bed. For Sneezy to go get medical attention in. We did it, gamers. We won. Oh, uh, actually, do you still have bloodlust? Kill thirst. Oh. Well, with your kill thirst, how about you melee attack them to death? Let's sate your kill thirst. There we go. Kill thirst sated. <laughs> Very good. Alright, we've sated Sneezy's kill thirst for now. Uh, we have a twitch drop of a mega spider. It's not even a tamed mega spider. Just a mega spider. Thank you, Nurmer. Um, And now we need, we need to build a fucking crematorium. Somewhere. Uh, can I, do I even have a crematorium research? You have to research that, right? Oh no, electric crematorium. Whatever. Great, we won the fight. Our combination kitchen and crematorium, yeah. Colonist needs rescue. Uh, who's around to go do that? tend to them and starve. Okay. Now are you gonna eat? There we go, finally.
can you who can deconstruct this can you deconstruct this i do that Nice. Doing great. Okay. Now. Sure. Wait, does making it out of granite make it work slower? No. There. Great. How's our research going? We're working on it. Okay, great. Look at us go, we're doing great. You know what I might do? Uh, Fuck it, it can be a steel door, that's fine. Inspired surgery, huh? Rim world, yeah Ruby, we're waiting for the Dota patch. Waiting patiently. Yeah, it's supposed to be today, but it might be delayed. We're rapidly researching sterile materials. This is going to be our hospital. This is what, or what I intend to be our hospital. Oh. It is getting cold outside, dude. Somebody left. Oh, this needs to become. Well, I need steel door. What am I gonna attempt next? Oh, making like a good one. I want to make on your deathbed again. All right, do you want to know what you did, Sneezy? Also, welcome on in. Um, so you actually did great in the war effort. So we got raided by a bunch of these people. 
Uh, I camped you like right here and had like a firing line back here. You long sorted the shit out of a bunch of people, got shot in the back by your teammates, uh, sated your bloodlust by even after somebody was downed, stabbing them to death over and over and over again with your long sword. Then you walked back over here, ate a snack, uh, walked around confused because you have dementia, collapsed onto the ground due to blood loss from your allies shooting you in the back, and then were carried unconscious over to your bed. <laughs> so overall, a pretty good day. <laughs> Average sneezy day. Thank you, Kadoom. Alright, we are almost done with our crematorium. Now, I can go add Bill, cremate corpse, do forever. Uh, I run. Can't pick them up too heavy. What do you mean? Oh, it's because there's no, like, there's no dead body collection zone. Well, first, get these fucking granite blocks out of our fucking doorway. Oh, have we, like, run out of, oh my god, we have run out of space in here. Ah, <sighs> okay. I need to start doing shelves. Does granite shelf do anything like whack? No, okay. Then we're doing granite shelf. What is this? Shelves. Oh no. Ra of random <laughs> material. <laughs> and qu random quality. Very nice. Alright, we are starting to cremate corpses. Good. Uh, add bill. Burn apparel. Details. Do forever. Anything that is below. Any quality if it's below 50%, honestly. Actually. Awful to good. Yep. Um. Burn weapon. Do forever anything that is below 50%. Cool. More shelves and oh, and a cat. Oh, multiple cats. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh. Storage, clear all, or allow all, and then just untick food. Uh, priority, preferred, and then. Link setting. So, can you start, like... Uh, someone eventually is gonna walk in there and just start hauling a fuck ton of shit to the shelves. I hope. Jorley. Why do we have... Okay, uh, I made a mistake. Do not allow... Corpses. <laughs> no corpses. <laughs> No corpses, please. Thank you. Yeah, you're fine. I don't know how- I don't even know how you got crushed by the ceiling, to be quite honest. Uh, 
we need a fuck ton of granite bricks again. Uh, well, we have some. We just need people to fucking pick them up. Um, I've created my butcher station. Um, I need to... I guess we actually have a bunch of shelves, so... Fuck it. We use the funky shelves. That you guys gave me. Work frenzy. Sneezy's going into a work frenzy. Sneezy. Oh, you purchased it for yourself. Okay. You have marine armor. Are you already in turbo armor? What are you what are you wearing? Alright, go go put on put on some marine armor gamer and then get back to resting. Great work. All right, uh, can you, can you move the cassowary? Here, let me go add Bill, butcher creature, do forever. Thank you, get the dead cassowary out of our fucking storage area, please, thank you. Actually, let me... Let me cancel that. I have a plan. Actually, no, that's that's fine. Let me just yeah do, do all that first. I think. All right, uh, research project. Um, what is death rest? What the fuck, death rest coma? What does any of that mean? Uh. I don't want that, no thanks. Um Sure, let's do microelectronics. Uh All right, uh we have a, a lot we need to do. Uh we don't have enough cloth for making the rest of our winter clothes that we need to make oh but we can do sterile materials now so now i can start fucking uh i can make the goddamn hospital and i can make well, let's do the hospital first, and then see if we still have any resources fucking left after that shit. Oops, this room doesn't have a vent. It's supposed to have a vent. Sneezy, vibin. He's the only nocturnal person. Our only nocturnal gamer. Mm. 
Oh no, your dementia. You're wandering around aimlessly around all of the wooden traps on the ground. Don't walk into a trap. <laughs> no, your dementia. All right, animal bed. A mega spider. All right, well, we can put the animal bed somewhere. Uh, can go like in the corner there. That's fine. Uh, do not allow sewing. Uh, I don't know, harvest whatever the fuck we can. Or I guess harvest should be what I do. Not cut plant. Can we harvest any of those? No. Alright, where the fuck are, like, my gamers? How, how does nobody picked up any of that shit? Where, like, I need to put more people on fucking construction, dude. Go, my, my son. Construct. Alright, we're working on shit. We're figuring it out. To send 30 rats. A lot of rats. Quest failed. Don't give a shit. Look at them go! My gamers, gaming. Building shit as God intended. Good, good. Slowly running out of granite bricks, but we should be okay. We have a fuck ton of steel and silver. Why is Sneezy starving? Are you gonna eat? Oh. We do not have any... Okay, I need somebody... Okay, uh... Alright, let's see. Edit. Editing lavish. Sneezy, you need to- somebody needs to send carnivore meals for fucking Sneezy, dude. Our boy. Our boy fucking needs to eat meat. Can you eat raw meat? It does, Voxy. He cannot eat raw meat.
All right, well, I don't want Sneezy to starve, so what if you... What will I bet in the game of poker? Human meat is not gonna do it. We need fucking... We need it cooked into food. Are you gonna get food poisoning from that, Sneezy? Well, you didn't get food poisoning. So that's good. Uh... Oh, I guess I can let you have these. Okay, well actually, maybe you won't die. You just can't have vegetarian stuff. Okay. You should be okay. More mega spiders. Thank you, Nerimer. Okay. We are slowly doing our construction. A little bit at a time. What are these? 15 tame chickens. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Guess what it's time for, chickens. Thank you, Kadoom. Maybe we'll let Kit, we'll let the two sneezy cats live and we'll let the Kit duck live, but all of the Kadoom chickens are being fed directly to Sneezy. An anti-grain warhead, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you keep Sneezy alive. We fe we feed all of your Kadoom chickens to Sneezy. God bless. Kedu is running around murdering all of them on sight. Then Voxy's cleaning up the blood. Thank you, Voxy. What would we do without you? Okay, great. Great work, gamer. Except these shelves should be... Clear all. Allow. I would like animal corpses, but not like... Humanoid animal horses? Uh, no rotten. Raw food. Animal products. And then link those more warheads for the for the uh artillery that we already know is worthless my man is butchering all right sneezy I'm gonna go rest okay sure oh wait is that not Oh, sorry. Let me give you your bed bag, Sneezy. Sneezy sleeps in the masterwork bed. Alright. The hospital construction is coming along, slowly.
slowly building the hospital floor. Ron failed to construct the tile. Animal disease? No! Both of the Sneezy cats have the plague? No! Sneezy, no! <laughs> Mac and fucking oh no! How could Mac and Hazel have the plague? <laughs> no! Oh wait, no, just one. Okay, only one of them has the plague. Medical. Uh, who's my who's my animal handler? Dennis. Dennis. Here, Dennis, do I need to give you doctor and now can you? How do I? Yeah, I made this one into a medical bed. Me likey shiny things. Me wanting <laughs> not to stress about Ow. food or shelter Hi, or Morgus. medicine. Hi, Morgus. What's e. up? Can you? How do I get somebody to treat Sneezy? How do you how do you get someone to do that? Do I have to set up an operation? Are you still alive? Yes, both both Morguses are still alive, including baby Morgus. Hmm. Sneezy, should I administer healer mech serum to the cat? Euthanize operation. <laughs> No, 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 I think we should administer a uh, very rare healing item to the cat to make it live. I think that sounds like a good plan. Get the cat high. I think that will probably be bad for the cat. Give him the red jello. <laughs> Luciferium <laughs> to the cat. <laughs> then he'll definitely die. I don't know. What do you guys think? How else do how do I get the cat to go into the bed? I guess. Is the question that I have. Like, how, like, I can't interact with the cat on any of my dudes. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to. Cat will go there eventually. Oh, okay. It will just go to the medical bed. Oh, okay, cool. Now I can. Uh, make one of my doctor people. And go, go tend to the kitty cat. Cool, plague tended. Fantastic. Okay, good. We're slowly working on the hospital. A little bit at a time. What is this? Another cat, a boxy cat. Great. Uh, I can replace that with this pretty one. True form boxy, yeah. Oh, can anybody give us, can you guys give me straight silver? We've run out of silver to make, uh, to make sterile tiles. They are so far, Eck. So far, everybody's straight chillin'. Can you guys give me straight silver? How do you buy stuff? The overlay. Oh, you can. Thank you, Sneezy. Okay, great. All of our plants are dying in the cold. 
is great. How's baby Morgus doing? You're resting. I thought the rim star was part of my shirt. It is not. It is an overlay. You can also, I believe you can move it around locally on your end. Like you can move where that overlay button is. Ruby the fox, just hanging out. Here, you can be- we can start training you, Ruby. Where is your character? You don't have one. Have you bought one yet? You've been gaining silver. Alright, we have sterile tile. I know in here somewhere we have... a... thingy. That's Glitter World Medicine. Oh, here it is. Vitals Monitor. Also, I know we have some hospital bed. Steel hospital bed. Yeah, okay, so... Put one there. Do we have other hospital beds? Well, we have one hospital bed for now. Ah, uh, uh, I think it defaults to being positioned like in the bottom right hand corner, which just happens to be where I am. Three colonists idle. Did you build yourself into a hole? Oh no, you just ran out of things to construct. Okay, well, good thing for us. We want sterile tile in here too. Die? What do I do with die? What do you guys, why are you idle? Did we run out of s no we still have steel go like find something to do here okay uh install that there and i can do uh art bench cabinet oh a good colonist all right x let's see what you got uh what are your stats x what do you do you are, you are a coma child. Your adulthood, you are a contract miner. You're a beautiful cannibal and you're industrious. Wow. Okay, cool. A beautiful cannibal that you are. Great. Um... Were there more hospital beds? Where the fuck was it? Am I blind? Is there another ho- Oh, here it is. Steel hospital bed. Cannibal atop tier trait? I guess they do. I guess this mod at the very least considers cannibal a top tier trait.
Who's idle? What do you do, Kedu? on stuff we're doing things we sort of have a hospital situation now uh we could really use finishing this shit up i need to put some lights in this bitch We have run out of silver again for sterile materials, so that's unfortunate. Um, I can go tell people to, like, start hunting. Let me even not those. What do we have on hunting? Seven colonists idle. Jesus Christ. X needs to a ranged weapon. Well, go have an auto pistol. Are you guys all idle? Stop being idle. Um... We can do more Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. Who do I have on Minecraft? There. More Mega Spiders, more Silver. Probably finish that area now. Area right, now need to go. Okay. Um, you're saving up to be a good colonist. All right, uh... Details... Fear all... Marble. Who can we put on art? Wow. Wee 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 wee. Happiness is a good mega spider. All right. Uh, who can we have on art? Who's like good at art? Ron is fucking sick at art. Okay. Got some weapons from you. Two LMGs. Okay. That will help. Help with the base defense. For when our next raid happens. Is this cat better yet? Somebody need to tend to your plague. No, oh, you're fine. Okay. Alright. Um... Next, I think, comes, like, making an actually good rec room, probably. Uh... Also... 
you should not have uh raw meat anymore. Get rid of that. Um I wanna finish the sterile tile there, so we have to have somebody like go do that at some point. Soon. I gotta figure that out. Also, uh Ron, let me know if we get patch notes at all. I'm I'm waiting eagerly. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Another good Ron. Okay. What do you like, Ron? Uh you are a shop kid. You're iron willed. Wow. Alright, you're good at stuff. Um Um Uh you need How about you just do that? I dude, I'm running a, I we're, we need more rooms again. Ogh. We need to expand our our housing situation. Okay, uh, well, we need more granite bricks. Can I send you another colonist? You can, but they won't have anywhere to sleep. <laughs> so you definitely can, but we also just need more like raw material resources. Uh, like just granite blocks, basically. You could send your other copy to the grinder, what the fuck? Can you retire really stupid Ron if you don't need him? Which one is really stupid Ron? This is like... Oh, this is like... This is... Slothful, wimp, incapable of intellectual Ron. Well, some people will eventually die in combat, and I think that's that's when we will start sacrificing people. All right, well, I have I have beds. Okay, well, uh oh, it's that. Oh no, <laughs> Morgus, you have Alzheimer's. <laughs> no, you know we have one call. We have Sneezy with dementia who wanders around in confusion, and we have Morgus with Alzheimer's who wanders around in confusion. <laughs> Both of you are very confused. You're having a very very bad time. Oh. Very confused, having a bad time. Okay, now we have a good Morgus. What do you what are your stats, good Morgus? All right. Good Morgus, what do you got? You were a budding artist as a child. Uh, in your adulthood, you were a logger. You are uh, really happy at all times. You're beautiful and you're iron willed. So yeah, pretty pretty solid, pretty, pretty gamer. But Jesus Christ, we have so many people now. Okay, um, 
We need... We need so many more fucking granite blocks, dude, to make beds. We have a deer now. Yeah, we have we have all types of Morgus here. All types of Morgus that you could desire. Um And we got, we were delivered some beds. Where are all the beds we were delivered? Kind of better you. Marble bed. Marble bed is not good. Yeah, so the problem with sending beds is that they can be made out of random materials and like lots of materials are not comfortable. So like that's the main problem with sending beds. Because nobody wants to sleep on a bed made out of fucking steel because it's comfort 0.5 or 0.75 which is worse than oh wait no this is identical steel is identical is marble worse i know some of the stone ones are worse no are they all the same something about them is worse so this beauty too oh it's because if it's the quality too Wooden bed poor. Uh, somebody deconstruct that. I don't want... We don't want poor beds. Having at least good tier beds would be nice. Sneezy has a masterwork bed. Sneezy's turbo sleeping. What do we got? A royal bed. Granite blocks. Oh, granite blocks are great. Golden royal bed. Wow. Okay. Um. So this can be the bed for someone who's really pog and lucky. Oh. Eclipse? Okay. Oh my god, did you send more fucking beds? <laughs> oh my god. Are any of them good beds? Oh, some of them are pretty... Well, normal, normal, normal. We have a couple good ones. Or no, correction, we have one good one. One good bed. Okay. No! No! Kit the, Kit the duck was killed by a bear! No! Goodbye, Kit. Rest in peace. You were murdered. Murdered at the hands of a hungry bear in winter. Rest in peace. Goodbye. We will remember you in therapy. Ah, uh, hey Gerg, what's up? Somebody popped in earlier and was like, you should, uh, you should know how to, you should be practicing Fortnite for Saturday. And I'm like, nah, I've already decided I don't play shooting games. I'm moral support for whoever's team I fucking get onto on Saturday, dude. 
I am very much moral support. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people at this point. So we have... Ugh. Hey, Kazan, what's up? The hype man is most important. Yeah, I'll, I'm the hype man. I provide moral support and I go, yeah, whenever somebody does something cool. That's what I do. All right, well, we're making some progress. Where are you going, Sneezy? Oh, you're just fucking, you're just making bricks. An absolute god gamer. Sneezy is making bricks, dude. Sneezy is once again starving. How about you, like, go eat food, man? Sneezy. Oh, we ran out of food that you can eat. That would be why you are not eating food. Huh. Can you very quickly go make some food, gamer? Where the fuck are you? Oh, you're all the way over there. Is anybody else able to cook? Who else can cook? Ron and X can both cook pretty darn well. X, go make some food for Sneezy or he's gonna die. <laughs> hey, Babana, what's up? All right, where is Sneezy? Sneezy, don't go out there. Go eat. Where the fuck did it go? He just put them in there. Did somebody already immediately fucking yoink them? Wood. Labrador retriever meats. Oh. Sneezy can eat those. Where's Sneezy? Sneezy. Go eat one of those. Stop starving. Good job, gamer. I'm proud of you. Look at him go. Remembering to eat food. Okay. Sneezy has figured out how to eat food. Proud of him. Okay. All right, look at us go. What is going on here? Oh. I may need to add another heater. I did, thank you for your wood. It was great. Sneezy is eating raw meat outside. Proud of him. Let's go, dude. My gamers, they're cooking. We're, we're no longer permanently running out of food. That's fine. Oh, two ducks. Thank you. Okay. We are fucking zooming now. All right, I need to add the wall lights to these rooms. Uh, huh. 
Uh, what skill should I up on my really good colonist? On like the is this the Pogist one? Um, I don't know, dude. We need to start like we need to build the the base perimeter. I think is what I need to start doing. So this is gonna be like our power grid block. Uh, I want to finish doing the, like this probably all needs to be minecrafted away. Um, more cargo pods. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. Is it not turbo cold in here? It's not that bad. Um... Morgus needs a ranged weapon. What gun can I give you? You can have an LMG. What is this? A Fennec Fox. Thank you. Uh, build, copy, bam, bam. Bam. I need. Oh, it is granite tile. Oh, okay. Uh, skill trainer plants. Okay, Ron, do you want? How do I get you to go use those? So you're at level eight plants right now. Let's see what happens. A cow, base. Oh, now you are level 19 at plants. Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. Mad Mega Spider. Mmm. Alright. Nirmer's finally... Nirmer's plight has finally come upon us. Do you guys need, all right, you do have guns. Um, well, time to see what happens. Get out there, gamers. We need your help. I'll need to start fucking like bailing, dude. Oh god, do you have do you go help? Jesus Christ, it's still coming. All right, we got him. Woo. All right. Woo. Oh my God. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Hi, Lycan. What's up? All right, where is Sneezy's... Where's Sneezy? He needs to sate his bloodlust. All right, Sneezy. Go sate your bloodlust, babe. Everyone else can chill. All right, Sneezy gets to beat something up with his bare fists. Is it 
Is it increasing or is it is it fixing your kill satiety? Yes. Okay, good. Good job. Good job, Sneezy. Proud of you. Actually, go pick up your longsword. Where's your longsword, babe? Go, go grab your longsword. Great gamers. Look at look, look at everybody going. They're vibing. They're learning. Ah. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello gamer. How are you? Okay. We have Do we actually have enough barracks for our fucking dudes now? We have so many. So many barracks for people. All right, I would like to start building the fucking perimeter wall. Uh, do we even have like an abundant material? I don't want to build it out of fucking marble. We need more granite, dude. All right, we need to change this to make granite blocks. Make granite blocks. More heavy SMGs and a hood, okay. You want here, Morgus? You can go wear the hood. Actually, okay, yeah, cool. You go pick that up. Ah, uh, all right. Hey, Dennis. How about you all those for me? All right, and then um. I don't want normal tier beds. I want good tier beds. That's pretty sick. Look at our gamers go. We're figuring it out, dude. A little bit at a time. Where did everybody? Oh, everybody's sleeping. Is this just an easier dwarf fortress? Um, I don't know. Like, they, I guess they're sort of in the same thing. It's like it's like an adventure colony simulator sort of sort of deal. Did you have a baby? Yeah, some people had a baby, and then I I just named it Morgus because. The, the colonist Morgus initially sent me was very bad. I think at this point, it probably makes sense to do... Uh... Something like this. To have some sort of access way.
More animal beds. And a normal pellet open. Uh, oh no, but we're... Oh god, we have so many dudes. Alright, uh... Oh, you finished. Uh... Eric, what are you... What are you even doing? Good at... Animals. You need a gun. The SMG. It's for you. That's not good. Well, we're gonna need that assault rifle. We're gonna need that assault rifle, Morgus. Alright, uh... Uh, it is time to go to war! Uh... Alright, where are my gamers? Oh, I hate that noise. Get my freaking firing squad up in here. Oh, well, you don't even have anything. Oh god, Voxy, uh... How about you don't go that way, though? Plate armor? Longsword? Go frenzy? Shoot- okay, okay. Let's- let, let's see how we do. All right, we're setting the squad up. Right, let's uh, let's save. We will see, gamer. Oh God. Okay, <laughs> we're doing great. All right, gamers, go fucking kill the shit out of these. Okay, how about we walk up first so we don't fucking shoot each other. We did it. Alright. Well done. Oh uh, wait, actually Sneezy? After you do that? Actually before you do that. Kill it to death. A charge rifle. You guys eating the insect jelly immediately? They sure are. Okay, well. More power to you, I guess. And X got <laughs> food poisoning from it? Dangerous food type? Well, why did you immediately eat it then? That's your own fucking fault. 
You have a Tommy gun? You have... You have a chain shotgun. Even better. Alright, great. Um, uh, medical treatment needed. Well, go fucking go... Go get in a bed. We need another hospital bed. Do I even have these researched? I do not. I can use a normal bed for now. I'm doing great, Kedu. How are you doing? I'm waiting for Valve patch notes that have not come. Is somebody like tending to you guys? Okay, somebody is at least. Tin, can you go install that bed? Who is like not in bed that should be? Dennis, go get in there. Here we go. Ah. Rip to the guy still drafted. Oh, Sneezy. Yeah, it's okay. They they just had to stab the fucking bugs some more. Is there a shelf with medicine in the medical room? No. Should there be? Should I make one? How do you vote in the room world thing? When you click the pop out or like when you click the add on, there's two tabs. There's like store and like voting. If you go to the voting one, you'll be able to vote. That's in base, small shelves are in base. Massively expanded? 40% more terrain? That sounds really cool. Dude, I want to see it. I want to see it. I'm eager to see it. Quest expired. Quest expired. Who's like, do I have any of my like garbage? Where is like dilapidated Morgus? You can't do cleaning. That's why you do no cleaning. Okay. Where is dilapidated Ron? Oh, you do lots of cleaning. Storage, critical, clear all. Items are manufactured. Medicine. Cool. Everyone's freaking out that it's soon. I hope so. I hope it is soon. Why is nobody grabbing all the bug dead bodies? Oh, we are just slowly. Look at you diligently cleaning Voxy. I'm proud of you. Look at you go. Did anyone install the mech link yet? No, I haven't done that because I don't really know what it does because I haven't done any of that sort of stuff yet. All right. Um. We have like most of our basic stuff done. Uh, 
Uh, was it worth it or should I just get a normal colonist next time? They're definitely better. The good colonists are definitely better. Definitely far less, like, worthless. Um... I feel like I should probably still build out a little bit more. Uh, maybe we do more Minecraft down this way. I do want to start doing, like, defenses and stuff. But, uh... We still have so much that we have not done. Ah. Who's getting married? Morgus is mar <laughs> Morgus and Tin are now engaged. Wow. Which which Morgus is it? It's the, oh, it's the old bad Morgus with Alzheimer's. Old bad Morgus with Alzheimer's. Who should I put the, here, Boxy, do you want the mech link? Where is the mech link thing? Mechanoid transponder, that's not it. You a mech link? Skill trainer medical. Skill trainer plants. Mechlink. Uh, where is Voxy? Voxy. Install Mechlink. Unfortunately, you can't link things in chat, uh, Tebsu. Let me know if I said your name right, by the way. I know you, ch I know you used to be Garo. Uh, what is the link? You did? Okay. Uh, creating mechs, pods have arrived, lifter, a lifter has dropped from orbit, placing itself under control of Voxy. Oh. Uh. Are you? Oh, it's not even a human? Oh, it's under the control of Voxy. Whoa, that's kind of neat. So what about this thing over here? Can you like the Exo Strider? Is that something you can like go interact with? Oh, <gasps> the patch is out. All right, all right, that's it. We go, we go do Dota now. Did anybody send anything? Did anybody send anything? Or can I exit the game safely? Speak now if you sent anything. Otherwise, I'm fucking dropping out of the game. Have you sent anything? I will let the game run up for a second. Voxy has sent me a good colonist. Okay. Is there anybody else? Anything else? Okay, I'm saving. I'm out, dude. I'm out. Nobody's saying anything. I'm out. Alright. Wait, actually, I can just read it in-game. Give me the patch. Wait, what? The patch notes come out before the game patched? Pog. All right, all right. Uh, when does the fucking... When does the actual game patch? Is that not typical? I don't know. I don't like you're patching right now. Synchronizing with Steam Cloud. Mine just fucking runs. Mine just ran. Game client out of date. Yeah, I noticed. We look, we look, we look. We are downloading. 
We download very quickly. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. So I'm drained of piss and ready to absorb knowledge. Oh shit, there's an intro animation that I'm not watching. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I skip it and then let it replay? All right, hold on, let me Alt F4. Alt F4? I can't Alt F4. No spoilers, Nirimur, please. Please? All right, give me, let me see that again. I want to see it from the beginning. How do I get you to play again? What the fuck? Holy shit. Watch trailer. Wow. Skywrath. Whoa. Oh my god, DK. Skywrath. They're attacking things. There's a bird. There's a spell. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh shit. This shit's lit, dude. Look at all the glowies. Oh my god. Whoa. Random or half sphere things raising out of the ground. Shapes raising out of the ground. New frontiers gameplay update 7.33. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Wow. Okay. Ah, <sighs> give me the patch notes. This one is huge. It's got all the things you're probably expecting. Balance change, new items, here we works. Map is now 40% bigger. Uh, all right. Let's look. All right. New map gameplay changes, matchmaking changes, user interface changes. Ah. Uh, all right. Dota map has been massively expanded. The core objective of the game remains the same. Your lanes aren't further away from each other and everything you need to win is still in the center of the map. But with 40% more terrain, there's plenty of room to reap new rewards, discover new strategies. Both main jungles have also been fully reconfigured, shaking up vision placement, juke roots, farming, and more. New outposts. These expanded map features two new outposts. The original outposts have been moved to new locations. This raises the obvious question of whether they're truly the original outposts. Nice try, Socrates. They are. Watchers are like terminators, but for watching. They are relentless. They don't know pain. They don't know fear. They are lazy though. They won't start watching until you click on them. Watchers begin the game inactive and neutral, but once activated, grant vision over the watcher's area for seven minutes or until your enemies sabotage it to temporarily disable it. When a team kills Roshan, all watchers will turn to their side. Holy shit. Okay. Shield runes. River runes now also get an addition with the beefy new shield rune which gives 50 percent of your max hp as a barrier okay dive a tower for a kill in the early game or walk up a blind hill to surprise both yourself and the enemy team all right uh 
Another outpost. Twin gates. Two gates now connect the corners of the map near the safe lane towers, allowing players to teleport instantly from one edge of the map to the other. This is a gameplay change, but it has obvious lore implications. Dota 2 now officially, unofficially exists in the Pac-Man expanded universe. Okay. So it lets you jump from one side of the map to the other. Lotus pools. Players can now find lotus pools on the left and right sides of the map, near where the creep waves first meet. They periodically spawn fruit that, when eaten, grants mana and HP. Players can stockpile this fruit and then combine it into even larger, higher value fruit in the late game. This larger fruit can even be combined into incredibly large fruit. What happens if you combine this, the incredibly large fruit? Probably nothing. Parentheses, definitely something. Roshan's new homes, plural? Sold his old river pit and is taking advantage of all this new real estate. He's now got two fantastic new pits located in the northwest and southeast corners of the map. It's a pit lover's paradise, boasting peekaboo views from the fountains and just minutes away from the secret shops. These pits must also be close to a gym because Roshan's even tankier now. Also, no longer drops Agnim's shards, and now drops cheese on his second death instead of third. His third death drops a refresher shard or a scepter depending on whether he's in North Pit or South Pit. Okay, what is this? Tormentors. These two powerful neutral creeps spawn near each base after 20 minutes, and both have a belly full of Aghanim shards. But there's a catch, and the catch is that there's two catches. One, Tormentors are equipped with Mega Shields, which reflect most of the damage you throw at them. Two, they grow stronger every time you kill them so it'll probably require your entire team to take one down. The good news is, much like bears ignoring you to maul a hiker, if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Okay. Wisdom runes. Explore the edges of the map to unearth wisdom runes, which grant XP boost to any hero wise enough to steal one. Wisdom runes spawn near your base, offering an easy-to-defend way to keep a losing game from spinning out of control. Okay. That's a lot. They've added a lot. Holy shit. Um Did I I somehow miss Defender's Gates? What the fuck is a Defender's Gate? This? Defender's Gates. Defender's Gate combine the sparkly high fantasy of Dota with the practicality of doors on your house that you can lock when you go to the grocery store to destroy its ancient. It's a back door to your base with a handy force seal that lets your team through and keeps the enemy's teams out. When the enemy team, when the enemy is assaulted in front, you can sneak in and out through the back. That's kind of sick. Okay. Huh. Nice. Twelve new creep camps. Some of the creeps got tired of getting butchered all the time in the jungle, and have established twelve new camps scattered throughout the map. You can butcher them there too. Major gameplay changes. Major changes to your favorite heroes and systems. In fact, our legal department advises to tell you this gameplay section is so densely packed with meta-defining new features that you should read them slowly over the course of the next few weeks so you don't get overstimulated and have to call the fire department. I'm already kind of tired of their like, haha, aren't we wacky? Aren't we a little bit silly? Aren't we kind of goofy? Haha, he ha ha. Shut up, Dota. Tell me the fucking patch notes. New hero attribute type. As the fourth spirit brother we'd released, Void Spirit, shouldn't have been a strength, agility, or intelligence hero. To stand apart, he really should have been a new kind of hero, a fourth kind of hero. Introducing Universal Heroes, a new main stat group composed of existing heroes that now gain 0.6 damage from each stat of any attribute. Our engineers assure us this number is perfectly balanced, unless it isn't, but the good news is we're all going to find out together in the grand adventure that is the New Frontiers update. The universe stat. Okay, yeah, universal. Uh, Black King Bar reworked. Activating Black King Bar now applies a basic dispel, grants 50% magic resistance, and debuff immunity. While it's active, negative effects from debuffs don't affect you, plus you'll have immunity from pure and reflected damage. But be careful, if Black King Bar expires before the duration of any of the debuffs, the debuffs will be applied for whatever duration is left. Effects that pierce magic immunity now also pierce debuff immunity. 
Interesting. Yes, Rogue. Neutral item drops reworked. Murdering forest creatures used to mean getting a cool new neutral item. That usually went to the carry, who usually wasn't you. Now killing a neutral creep randomly drops a token, which lets you choose from five available neutral items. Each token offers a full array of five options, so even the last player to redeem their token has a real choice. Teams can give tokens to anyone to use, but once you select an item, it can't be shared, so divvy your tokens wisely. Once you select an item, it can't be shared. Huh, okay. Interesting. Neutral creep scaling. Now scale over time. Camps get harder to wipe out as the game goes on, but heroes with the ability to control creeps are going to have some serious backup. Kill formula reworked to make early game kills more impactful and motivate players to gank other lanes. We've also reduced gold scaling for lane creeps, making creep farming less profitable as the game progresses and encouraging players to beat the gold out of each other instead. An unstunning new feature. Playing your hero is always more fun than sitting around not playing your hero. While fans of playing things and critics of not playing things, your dreams have come true. Get ready to play your hero more than ever before. How easy? We reduce the duration of almost every disable in the game. How did we come up with this insane plan even easier? We took a Beastmaster roar to the face and suddenly had a lot of time to think. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's very, they're, love, they're layering on lots of quirk. All right, so we're turning into League of Legends is what Dota is saying. We are no longer many second stuns. We are now League of Legends many stuns. Not sure how I feel about that. I guess we're going to have to find out. This is a massive change to Dota. Uh, yeah, this is, this is far more than 7.33, dude. This is like 8.0, yeah. When all heroes have been balanced, something has been balanced more than others. We're calling few, out a few of those heroes here. After two months of haunting lanes, Meredith's come out with her Aghanim, Scepter, and Shard. Okay. Added to Captain's Mode. She has... Uh, now upgradable by Aghanim's Shard. Grants 30% spell lifesteal for the duration of Pierce the Veil. She permanently gains 2% spell amp every time she kills an enemy hero during Pierce the Veil. Or anytime an enemy hero dies within, okay. New Ag Scepter ability shoots an allied or enemy hero in their soul, separating from their physical body for four seconds. The soul is pushed 150 units on separation is untargetable, muted, disarmed, and invulnerable. The body is stunned for the duration as 50% damage reduction. After this effect, the soul is forced to return to the body. The soul survives until the end of the effect, even if the body dies, does not deal damage. Okay. Um, like the best abilities in life now create skeletons. Strafe. Uh, okay. Now, Death Pact is a basic ability? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Um, okay. Attack range goes up. Casting Strafe does not break Skeleton Walk invisibility. Okay. Tar Bomb. Unit targeted. Throws a projectile. Deals magic damage. Makes them attack the target. Covered in tar. And anyone who walks across the tar gets slowed. Uh, takes additional damage. Affects buildings. Death Pact is now a basic ability with charges. Creates a burning skeleton archer in a place of a killed creep. Skeleton walk is now his ultimate. Duration massively increased. Bonus movement speed massively increased. Summons skeleton archers. Burning barrage is now his shard. Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, Arc Warden used to create a perfect clone of himself, but now he makes a better version of himself or worse. Either way, it's different and uncontroversial, we imagine. Stop being quirky, dude. All Tempest Devil's abilities are replaced with Tempest versions of Arc Warden's abilities. Upheaval has attuned Arc Warden to the Ancients. When playing on Dire Side, Arc Warden will have the Tempest abilities by default, and his Tempest Double will have its normal abilities. His condition is temporary and will go away once Zet adapts to the new paradigm. What? Okay. Um, Tempest version provides higher damage, 
but lower movement speed penalty. 150 attack range, increased duration, shorter activation delay, longer slow duration, but lower damage. Okay, Ogre Magi is too dumb to be an intelligence hero, so he isn't anymore. Primary attribute change to strength. Okay, Ogre is now a strength hero. And he gains no intelligence. He has a new innate ability. Max intelligence is zero. Ogre Magi receives six points of maximum mana and 0.3 mana regeneration per point of strength. Each 20 points of strength also increase multicast chance by 1%. So the 4x cast chance will trigger on level 1. Okay. Wow. Medusa now starts weak as a baby, but like a baby, she can get stronger over time. They reduced all of her sh stat gain, except for Int that got buffed. Mana cost decreased. Scepter, Stone, Shard, whatever. Mana shield is now a passive. And this ability can be upgraded to level 5? Okay, that's the first time we've had that be a thing. Mana shield ability, their mana bar will be visible to enemies. Now absorbs HP loss type of damage. Okay. Is innately greedy. Grievel's Greed is now an innate ability, which was not a thing before? Okay. New basic passive ability. Dude, we are just going League of Legends mode. That like that's what this feels like. Who's the cutest to Dota 2 hero? There's that's a hard question to answer. Cutest? Uh to me or to like the general population? I think Dazzle's cute. Is Sydney here? They'd be napping on stream if they were here. New items. Blood Grenade. To me, I like Dazzle. Dazzle's cool. Jakiro's cool too. Plus 50 health. Throw Grenade. It costs HP? I, I assume that's what this red symbol is. Throw Grenade at the target area. Plus 6 all attributes. So stats, stats. Cast on that grants them a physical damage barrier that absorbs 300 damage. Duration 8 seconds. Okay, we, we are League now. We are adding fucking barriers to the game that you can buy. Okay. Well, League doesn't actually have useful, like, items, so... Uh, that's not true. Phylactery. In the next unit target spell you cast deals a separate 25 bonus damage to the target and slows them by 50%. Okay, Harpoon. When targeting an enemy, fire a harpoon at them that pulls you and the target closer together. You can buy Pudge Hook now? Okay. Oh, it's built out of Echo Saber? Okay, interesting. Disperser. Um, Suppress. If a target it slows it for 40 seconds, applies basic dispel, increases their movement speed by 100%. Mana break. Okay. New neutral items. Duelist gloves for attack speed. Spark of courage. 10 damage when a hero is above 50% health. 5 armor when they are below. 20 movement speed. Tier 2. Automatically dodge an attack from an enemy hero. Okay. Reciprocity. When attack the hero, counterattack start with their attack range. 5 second cooldown. 30 damage equipped hero is silenced. 15 armor equipped hero is stunned. Every 12 seconds, walk with 300 magic damage. Redirect 20% of damage. Matchmaking. There are 8 billion people on the planet. 99% of them are terrible at Dota. These matchmaking challenge, especially if you're good at Dota. I like playing with people who are almost, but hopefully not quite as good as Dota as you are. We don't have to work in a bunch of math to improve the quality of our matchmaking across the board for all skill levels. MMR is really just made a two numbers rank and rank confidence. Your rank is an estimate of your skill, and your rank confidence is our confidence in that estimation. When you play a match, we address your rank based on whether you win or lose. Your rank confidence also goes up because now we have more data. Undesired clumping, the worst kind of clumping. Dota has traditionally used a modified version of the ELO algorithm to implement rank and rank confidence changes, but over time we noticed a few problems with our approach. For one example, the distribution of MMRs has gradually shifted lower causing an undesired clumping in the 0 to 1000 MMR range. Another problem is that players who took a break and returned were having a hard time getting back to an accurate MMR because the previous skill level is no longer representative. 
new and improved clumping. To address this, we're switching to a different algorithm called Glico, who should let you quickly and accurately get matched with other players at a similar skill level. On the math side, Glico lets us better factor a player's rank confidence into our calculations, resulting in more accurate decisions about rank gains and losses. Uh, yeah, they're definitely cringe, Kadoon. Uh, switch to our new match reason will feel like the start of a new matchmaking season. All players will be placed back into a short calibration mode initially seated by their previous rank. Calibration is no longer a fixed number of matches. Instead, a player is considered calibrated whenever their rank confidence is above a certain threshold. Upon calibration, it is likely that you end up with a different medal than you had before. However, even if your medal changes significantly, you should expect to be matched with players of similar skill level. No longer have a fixed MMR gain loss. It will be variable based on a number of factors, including the ranks and rank confidence of the participants. However, we will cap the gain loss to prevent particularly negative outcomes. Rank confidence will slowly lower over time if the player does not play matches. Been running the both matchmaking system simultaneously on the scenes for a while now. We'll confidence in these changes. We understand that accurate MMR is only one of the many factors that impact match quality. Immortal matchmaking. At Immortal rank, knowing the other players, getting with them, choosing a nice balance of roles is more important than just MMR. So we've redesigned matchmaking at the Immortal level to account for that. Matches in the Immortal ranks won't use pre-made teams anymore. Instead, two captains will get to draft the eight other players onto each team. Your team more impactful than if you just relied on MMR to assign lineups. So if your match sucks now, you got no one to blame but yourselves, Immortals. That's actually probably fucking huge for my bracket. That's kind of huge. Okay. Uh, user interface. Not that I fucking play ranked anymore, but that is that does make it sound like maybe I will actually try playing ranked again. Uh, blurry vision. I'm not. This is all cringe. Uh, why stop using fucking hee hee ha ha words? Health bar barriers. Did you know Dota has shields? Magic shields, physical shields, aphotic shields, all sorts of shields. Maybe you miss them or ignore them because there's no way to know how much shield you started with or how much you had left. But that dark age of uncertainty ends today. Now you can see everything or at least both of those two things. See which type of shield it is. Celebrate how much of those old shields are with visual upgrade. We added a bunch of new abilities that feature them. Rename them from shields to barriers so you don't get confused thinking there's a vanguard on your health bar. You're welcome. Health bar pips. Some units don't have traditional health pools and require a certain number of attacks to destroy. Okay, that's fucking great. Health cost. Now abilities show HP cost. Okay, that's great. That's actually really good. Balance changes. I'm not reading their like cringe thing. Map reworked. Twin gates. Removed Roshan. Pit. Highlighted on the mini map. Roshan no longer drops. Ba 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 ba. HP armor increased. Two tormentor mini bosses. So there is a new mini boss. Don't attack or move. They reflect seventy percent of damage received evenly. Destroying a tormentor grants agonim shard. All have an agonim shard. Destroying tormentor gives two hundred gold to each hero. Respawn in ten minutes after the feast. Okay. Alternate exit pass. Power runes no longer repeat until all different runes have spawned. The first rune of the next cycle is always different from the last rune of previous cycle. Added shield rune and wisdom rune. Spawn at 7 minutes and every 7 minutes after that. Okay. Outposts no longer grant experience. Added two more outposts. No longer provide vision or true sight around them. Okay, so it's just a TP objective. Eight watchers. So they added like wards that are built into the map. Um, okay. We all have to relearn the game, Ron. Um, every three minutes, each lotus for one healing lotus, so with a total of six. Channel to grant one healing lotus per second. Healing lotus is stackable, consumable, that replenishes that on use. Three healing lotus are combining a greater healing, great healing lotus. Two great healing lotus provided a greater healing lotus. Both teams have vision of both lotus pools content. Added 12 new neutral camps. Most of them are bound to four new named areas. The well, blah, blah, blah. Universal heroes added a new type of hero attribute, blah, blah, blah. That is a lot of heroes who have become universal heroes, including Dazzle's a universal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dazzle got the. Oh, well, hopefully it doesn't suck. If it sucks, then this is cringe. But if it's not, if it doesn't suck, then it's cool. Dazzle might have gotten the cool stuff. Maybe, possibly. I hope we can hope. Um, disables reduction, duration of disables reduced. Spell immunity reworked into debuff immunity. 
different in three major ways. The spell amplification, debuff protection, and damage reduction. Spell amplification, all spells can now be used on units with debuff immunity, even ones that don't pierce debuff immunity. Corresponding visual attacks will appear and the spell will apply all of its debuffs on the target. Debuff protection, negative effects that don't pierce de debuff immunity will not have an effect on the target for the duration of the immunity. However, if the debuff immunity expires before the debuff that doesn't pierce it, then it will take effect for the remaining duration. Area effects that pierce debuff immunity will take this effect immediately. Damage re reduction, debuff immunity increases match resistance, indicates pure and reflected damage completely. Okay. Here's a list of magic resistance for all abilities that previously gained spell immunity. Life still against 80 per Okay, interesting. This is a big Venno buff already. It's a big, a lot of changes. Avatar applies a base to spell, applies debuff immunity, grants 50% magic resistance. Duration, any negative is in the air, has no effect. Also as a piece, debuff immunity will have deal, blah, blah, blah. All right, Avatar spells for blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, it doesn't, you will slow. But you will still take damage. How much of you reduced by your magic? Which increased by PKB. Bigger Bay is active. Primal Roar Magic pierces magic. You will stun. You will take damage. It will reduce her magic. Just blah, 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 will be ignored. PKB is active. Silence gives you attacks with Gleaves of Wisdom. Pure doesn't pierce. You won't take any pure damage. Bigger is active. Bank has Fiend's Grip. Pure pierces spell and mana on you. The stun. You will take 100% of the pure damage. Okay. okay. That makes sense. Melee creep. Gold bounty increased. Per upgraded decrease from one to zero. Oh, to zero for both of them. Okay, okay. Farming is like not a thing anymore. Jesus Christ. You do not farm uh, creeps anymore. You fucking punch heroes. Game literally said too many people were inting into each other. So he turned that into a mechanic. Okay. 15 move speed during the night. Its effect is doubled for heroes, but can be broken. For you gain fucking 30 movement speed at night? E excuse me? Okay. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, jun yeah <laughs> jungle is back on the menu, boys. Um, Jesus Christ. Special health bars. Cool. General neutral creep stuff. Don't really care. Ba 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 ba. New items. Mango has an initial stock and max stock of four. For all of these? Max stock of eight on tangos? Tom of knowledge removed from the game. Oh god. Reveal rework now creates an area that reveals and slows invisible units by 20% in a blah 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 where the caster is standing. Revealed units take 25 damage. Area lasts 12 seconds. Lingers on heroes in 8 additional seconds after they leave. 8 seconds? Dust last 8 seconds? Max stock decreased. Restock time increased. Bro, Invis Heroes like turbo buffed. Excuse me? Max stock for the whole team, yes. Allies affected by Smoker Deceit can't use Smoker Deceit themselves for two seconds ap after application. That's a change that's been needed for a long time. That's good. Uh, they debuffed fucking Meteor Hammer's build up. <laughs> okay. Hood of Defiance removed from the game. Uh, okay. Bash stun duration decreased. Overwhelming overwhelm stun duration decreased. Aether lens cost increased. Taking damage from Roshan mutes the item for three seconds instead of putting it on a three second cooldown. Interesting. Um, recipe changed. Total cost unchanged. BKB reworked. Orchid now requires Blitz Knuckles. That's an interesting build-up change. Vanguard's cheaper. Dagon build-up, very different. Gives you spell lifesteal? Okay. Aether Bus, six or ten of souls, pra ba ba, okay. Um Cyclone Recipe cost increased, total cost unchanged. Trains decreased. Radius decreased, uh, damage bonus went up, recipe decreased, total cost decreased, interesting. 
total cost increased for Glimmer Cape gives invisibility plus 40% movement speed and 300 magic damage barrier? Glimmer Cape gives you a fucking barrier now? Okay, and it costs mana to use. Okay, interesting. So if you don't, if you run out of mana, you can't Glimmer Cape? All right. Okay, sure. Why not? No longer provides bonus health or bonus mana. Energy charge now has a visual effect when used on allies. Recipe changed. Now grants 10 damage. Movement speed bonus increase. Uh, whatever. Cooldown change. Recipe change. Okay, they have they have nerfed Meteor Hammer back into the ground. They made it cost 50 more gold. Uh, they made it slow people now, but the stun duration was dropped by fucking 0.75 seconds. So that has ruined the combo for basically every single character. Uh, and they reduced the building damage. So Meteor Hammer is back to never being built. Cool. Um, Perseverance is cheaper. Movement speed is just fucking bigger across the board, which makes sense because they made the map bigger. So that's that's fair. Building damage went up, whatever. It still sucks. You can't do the combo anymore. No one's going to build it. Um, decreased total cost. Hex duration decreased. Uh, if the owner dies with the vessel having zero charges, it now gains one. Well... Wraith pack removed from the game. Interesting. Possessed mask cycled out. Faded brooch is back. Okay. Summoned cobalt is now controllable by the player that dug it up. Interesting. Brigand's blade. Those are cycled out. Nether shawl removed from the game. Philosopher's stone. GPM bonus reduced. Rest in peace. Vampire fangs is back. Blast Rig removed from the game. Uh, buff, buff. Flicker removed from the game! No! No! Rip Flicker. Rip Witchbane. Moved from tier 3 to tier 4 for Mindbreaker. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, now we get to hero changes. This is a fucking lot. This is gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot. Alright, um... Damage barrier stacks additively. Cooldown increased on his ultimate. Uh, base damage decreased. Uh, damage on level one decreased. It's okay, so he got nerfed. He like kind of needed it. Um, uh, stun duration decreased. Basic passive applies a stacking debuff on enemies that reduces movement speed and status resistance. Interesting. Cold feet stun nerfed. Agnum shard upgrade removed. Now deals damage per second. Now upgradable by Agnum shard. Enemies of ice blast explosion are stunned with the current level of cold feet for 60% of its duration. Doesn't stun debuff immune enemies. That's such a fucking huge nerf to ancient apparition, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it, they kept the damage. They decreased the duration of fuck down a fuck ton and increased the cooldown, but okay, that's actually okay, as long as they kept the damage, because I was like, this is the only thing that lets this hero fucking farm ever. So they kept the damage, that's fine. Anti-mage, uh health regen buffed, base strength nerfed. Uh nothing else too dramatic there. I don't really give a shit. Duration in duration decreased on Berserker's call. Now no longer uses pseudo random proc chance. Now triggers after a set number of attacks taken. Attacks to trigger. Ooh. Okay. No longer pseudo random. I kind of like that because that means you can plan stuff. Okay. Reduces the cooldown of counter helix. Okay. Now a universal hero. Base damage decreased. Damage per level increased. Ooh, damage per level increased by a lot. Okay. No longer reduces health regen. Now deals damage per second. Pure damage per second. Attack damage reduction. Mana cost increased. Duration rescaled. 
Now Pierce's debuff immunity no longer deals damage. Duration decreased. Mana cost decreased. Okay. Duration decreased for fucking Fiend's Grip too? Damn, okay. Damn, okay. Bane kind of got fucked. Uh, Flaming Lasso. You have duration decrease. Sure thing. All right, wow. All right. Uh, ability reworked. It's a passive now. Primal Roar decreased. Uh, don't give a shit. Uh, no longer disables by silences. Instead, disabled by break. No longer mini stuns. Now applies 100% movement slow. Okay. Attack now stuns the target. So they added a stun onto Shadow Walk. Now it gives... Lowers the cooldown. Okay. Um, Bristleback, Warpath stacks each cool spray release. Okay, excess damage over the cool spray threshold maintained, and multiple cool sprays can trigger from a single source of damage. Okay, Universal Hero, whatever, stun decreased, stun duration decreased, Universal Hero. They reworked all that shit. Universal Hero, stun decreased. What do they do? I don't. What do they do to my boy? Base damage decreased. Oh, oh my God! Base damage decreased. Oh, oh, oh my God! My boy! Base damage decreased from twenty-two to twenty-eight to ten to sixteen. Oh, oh no, no, dude, fuck. Strength gain decreased, agility gain decreased, intelligence gain decreased! Oh, damage on level 1 unchanged, okay. Oh my god, damage gain per level decreased! Oh, good juju ability removed. What is his ags now then? Ag shard hex duration decreased, cringe. Shadow Wave is now upgradable by Agnum Scepter, allows casting Shadow Wave on enemies to release an inverse Shadow Wave. The inverse wave bounces amongst enemies, dealing damage to them and healing any nearby allied units for 150% of healing and damage values of Shadow Wave. Dallas also performs an auto attack on every enemy hit by the inverse Shadow Wave. Interesting. Okay, we have inverse Shadow Wave now. Whenever a unit is affected by Dazzle spells, they temporarily gain lose armor. That was like basically what it was before. It can be activated to decrease the remaining cooldown of all other abilities by six seconds at item. What the fuck? Casting bad juju costs health. Each cast increases the health cost by 50%. Bad juju cannot kill Dazzle, but can still be cast without the sufficient HP. Cooldown three seconds. Bro, what? He can cast his ult at an HP cost to reduce his cooldowns. What the fuck? All right, Dazzle sounds like he's very interesting now. That's cool. Okay. Uh, Agnum Shard reworked. When on the ground lies dormant for up to five seconds, attaches to enemies. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Infernal Blade. I don't know who Gul'dan is, Ruby. Uh, stun duration decreased. Whatever. Hey, Chewie, what's up? Thanks for the follow. Strength gain increased. Okay. I don't play Heroes of the Storm. Uh, stun duration decreased. Applies Corrosive Breath or Frostbeth corresponding from current form. Cool. Um, I don't, like, want to read the rest of it. Oh, maybe I want to read Grinstroke. Max stun duration decreased. Sad. Move speed bonus increased, though. Ooh, that's 20%. Yes, yeah, sir. Cooldown decreased. Yo, okay. I mean, they did nerf the stun, but, like, whatever. Uh, give them flowers. It's, uh, it's definitely something. Drow makes terrain. Wait, hold on, what? Illusion is now a strong illusion. Spell immunity makes with deal immunity. What the fuck did you say about Drow? Excuse me? Aghanim Shard creates a hill of ice beneath her, pushing enemies away from it. Any unit that stands on the hill gains bonus attack range. They cannot miss and gain flying vision. What the fuck? Okay. Go to Medusa Trust. Where's 
Are these even alphabetical? They are alphabetical. Okay, well, let me get there. Uh, what did they do to Chrono is what I'm curious about. Freezes ability item cooldowns. Prolongs duration of time. Okay, whatever. Homing missile. Did they fuck up Gyro 5? Duration decrease. Cooldown increase. Agnum shard area of effect decrease. Yeah, okay. They fucked up Gyro 5 super hard. Rest in peace. Um, Invoker. Agnum shard upgrade removed. Move to level 20 talent. Upgrade. Multiples. Multiplies burn damage, makes enemies pull units, or makes it pull enemy units into its center at 100 units per second. Ooh, EMP is now, like, vacuum light. Io, ba ba ba, Jakiro, stun nerfed. Burn damage increased. Now it's a 25% damage penalty versus buildings. Sad. Mana cost increased, damage per second decreased. Blah, blah. No longer applies a mini stun. Okay, that's lame. Jug is like whatever. Coddle, what do we do? Now a basic they always change coddle. Now a basic ability does not require spirit form. Damage increase, radius decrease, cast range, scaled, decreased, cooldown, blah blah blah. Now requires spirit form. Okay. Ha. Huh. Slope is increased, duration decreased. Okay. Sleep duration decreased. Alright, well, cringe. Um she has what, Chewy? Okay, that's that's gonna be fun to get there. No longer disabled by silences, disabled by break, whatever. Overwhelming odds. Now we're gonna say area of effect ability centered around the hero. Huh. Okay. Movement speed. Whatever. Deep of immunity. Damage increase. Stun duration decrease. All right, so like everybody's stuns are just nerfed. Like we we figured that out. What do we do to fucking reverse polarity? All right, it didn't like eat complete shit. Can you look at Earth Spirit? I scrolled past Earth Spirit because I just like didn't give a shit. Because he's been like irrelevant for a while. Let's see, do they make him cool? Earth Spirit. Agnum Shard upgrade removed, now gains one extra stone remnant charge every fifth hero level, up to 13 max, okay. Boulder Smash does more damage against creeps, okay. Stun duration decreased, stun duration decreased. Upgradable Agnum Shard can attack at allies, remnant duration decreased. Yeah, kind of like whatever. Still might play him again, but whatever. Attribute shift no longer grants bonus agility. No longer grants bonus strength. Grants bonus agility. Grants bonus strength. Interesting. All right. Ba ba ba. Oh, what do we do to Necro? Movement speeds. Oh, we fucking did nothing to Necro. Okay. Necro stays winning. Um. Now only disarms enemies. Now only provides magic resistance to allies. Okay, oracle buffs? Cooldown increased, but still oracle buffs? Sort of? Agnum Shard upgrade, move to Agnum Scepter. Grants 15% fade time. Now granted by Agnum Shard. Oracle sounds fucking pog. Read Meepo. Meepo. Now be put on auto cast. If the ability is in auto cast state, when cast on the target, all their meepos. Bruh! They said you don't have to micro anymore to play meepo? Okay. Agnum shard upgrade removed. Mega meepo. New ability granted. Primary meepo mounts all other meepos. Place them on top of his shoulders. Gains 50% of all the other Meepo stats. Can fling them at enemies. And slow them by 6% for 3 seconds while active. Oh my god. Mega Meepo? That's fine. That's kind of silly. Okay. Uh, I want to get to Medusa. Oh wait. Did I scroll past Medusa? I did scroll past Medusa. Where's Medusa? There we go. We've nu nuked all of our stats. She only gains int. Okay, cool. Great. Okay, so yeah. Meepo totem pole. Yep, we got a Meepo totem pole going on. All right, blah, 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 whatever. Like, oh, OD. Agnum Scepter upgrade removed. 
Exodus Flux damage that brings Eldritch below 20 triggers a stronger spell. Outworld Destroyer consumes all of his mana to provide a damage barrier equal to 50% of his maximum mana last 15 seconds. Cannot be refreshed. Effect is disabled by break. Interesting. Okay. Um, they made Hook go out faster, but it can be heard in Fog of War. Interesting. What do we do, Rubik? Like nothing. Hero stays winning. What did we do to poor Shackles, dude? Okay, they do. They dropped it by like almost a full second. Nyx has a new ability. What is Nyx's new ability? What do we got? Mind Flare? Eh, I don't care. Don't give a shit. Doesn't sound cool. Um, Sven? Whatever. I've done so much reading, my brain's like... I'm out of brain juice for reading. Allows one hero bunker inside of the tombstone? Grab ally ability? Wow, okay, so tombstone's now a save? Veneta removes 50% of mana on hit? That sounds like they hard counter Medusa then. Winter Wyvern is a universal hero. Curse decreased. Alright, miscellaneous. Reduce the number of roll queue tokens granted when you lose in all rolls. Earn two tokens for a loss. Winning still grants the full four tokens. Farming token sometimes takes precedence over playing a assigned role effectively. Okay, that's fucking great. Cut all random and all random deathmatch row unranked. Plays these modes and queue times easily exceed one hour. And oh, legacy model oh, editor and cool. support for whole animation. Okay, all right, holy shit. All right. Um, is it time? Is it time to goof? Oh, people are already in games, dude. Holy shit. Uh, Hoodwink was unchanged because she is perfect. Yeah, perfectly useless. Perfectly useless. Ah. Oh. I'm I'm debating whether or not. Okay, because I have I have friends that are doing a draw pile. Um, in like 20 minutes and like, I kind of want to go do the draw pile, but I also kind of want to try Dota. Ah, all right, gamers. Uh, I cannot stream it because it will definitely have dicks in it. All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, regardless. Be right, Bark. Oh. Bro, we fucking skipped Dota 2. We skipped Dota 3. We went straight to fucking Dota 4, dude. Holy shit. Ugh. I do have Picardo, but 
I don't know if the people involved in the draw pile will want things streamed. It's my first time being invited to it, so I don't want to make anybody be like, Gar? Gar cringe? I didn't read Techies. I don't want to read Techies, dude. Techies, currently, the like, or like, well, before this patch came out, the fucking Techies build was just like, suicide onto somebody, E-Blade, drop all of your buttons and hope that they die instantly. If they don't, you don't contribute anything. That's like your whole deal. That was the whole Techies build. Why is he a universal hero? Because he's not intelligent, that's for sure. <gasps> it no longer silences enemies. Oh, it's a stun now. Okay. Oh, wow. 50-50 votes. Thank you. Helpful. Um. Huh. Whack, dude. Freaking whack. Oh. They like changed this too. Huh. You can sway the vote. You didn't read the nightmare skill? I did not. Oh. Cast time increased. Increases effect radius to 1000 and duration of four minutes. I'm saying, what? Within 200 units of the sign, there's a minefield for 10 seconds. I'm going to take 300 for every 200 units moved? Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on? Dota 2 game coordinator is currently being updated. Um... What does ranked look like now? Still the same. I need to see that in a game. I wonder what happens if I create lobby failed. Oh, it's because the game coordinator's down. Well, we've got a lot of shit fucking going on, dude. Dazzle. The enemy pales when they see the face of Dazzle. Well, demo mode is still. Just demo mode. But, uh, yeah, my fucking, my man, my man has an entirely different fucking ult now. How do you know cost of bad juju has been increased? Of okay. Safe word. Wave. Spiritual light. <laughs> and you can just keep doing it. So like if you stay on the back of a fight, as long as you fucking like a grave yourself, dude. I don't know, this, like, Dazzle sound, like, this makes it sound like Dazzle's, like, fucking hyper-cracked, dude, as a healer now? Dazzle is fucking stacked. Assumed I'd be a scaly player? I'm just, I just play, like, mostly position 5, because everyone, so, my Dota story is that I, 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 liked playing uh carry in mid and then i had a bunch of people who didn't know how to play support and they only knew how to play like carry or mid they were still really bad at it so i started playing support and like that's how i ended up becoming a support main i like dazzle he's cool he does lots of fun stuff you're describing a power bottom uh i think like in general attributing sexual roles to video game <laughs> video game roles it might be a little bit of a stretch but sure if that if that is what you would like to call it um i feel like the impact of a good support in dota is like really valuable 
uh because if you don't have anybody that's like good at uh winning lane for you you just lose like you just lose really hard especially <laughs> i feel like god the fucking game is gonna be so different now that fucking farming creeps is significantly different farming creeps is like nerfed to shit Look at how many heroes we got, dude. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, this patch was made for me. Yeah, they said, they said, well, I literally said this earlier. They said, oh, so many people in low skill are inting down the lane to fight people and they're not hitting creeps. So we've just removed hitting creeps as a mechanic and we've made inting down a lane to fight people even better. Uh... You didn't read that part? They basically scaled it so that uh, creeps, like lane creeps, do not scale like money-wise anymore, like as the game goes on. So like, th if you want to continue gaining money, you have to fucking like punch dudes. They'll become, like fighting people will become exponentially more worthwhile resources-wise than fighting creeps. Because like you can fight creeps, but like you can farm for like 10 minutes and then one dude gets one kill and he has more money than you like instantly. It forces you to start roaming as the game goes on. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, it's like this is genuinely going to be so different. I'm going to be adjusting to this patch for several months. Yeah, this is I don't know. I'm again, I will have to play a lot of this patch to find out if I like it. Uh, it's going to be very different. I can tell you that much. Uh, I also want to play, but I do also want to go do my draw pile. Dude, I'm fucking hyped, though. I, uh, now that I know all of the VR chat stuff, I can make, uh, whatever the fuck I want. I think the first thing I want to make is, uh, like, a skull head. I want to play. What's it? What's a draw pile? It's, uh, multiple artists working on the same canvas. Um, it's like a little art hangout thing. I feel like I should go because I was I was invited and I've like I don't know I don't feel like I have many artist friends that I've actually gone to draw with I still feel like most people don't even know that I draw even though I've like drawn stream plenty so basically junglers got a huge buff compared to lane creep farmers I think ju well jungling wasn't even like a thing before now now jungling is definitely can be its own role can I make a lobby now Oh, I can pog. Um, no iron talon, no poor man's shield, dude. We have no poor man's shield. We have no stout shield. I load into a bot match just to walk around. All pick. I pick my funny dazzle hero. God, the fact that tangos have a stock now, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, look at the map. Look at the fucking map. It's so much bigger. Jesus. All right, we buy fucking blue. Wait, you can buy a blood grenade level one? That's it. I'm buying a blood grenade. I'm a blood grenade haver. Skip ahead. I cast a long shadow. Where are we going, gamers? Trouble. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, you bet. Oh my god. Oh my god, what are you? Where even are the new bounty? Oh, we have a watcher. Can I touch you? Ah. Oh, I, I have a watcher. We're being watched. Oh, what? There's fucking ramps here? What is going on, dude? So there's one bounty rune here. Where the fuck is the other bounty rune now? One there. Is it like... Oh, it's... There. Okay. And this is Roche Pit? Shadows come. Which... Roche is which pit is Roche in? It's not this one. Can I like get in this portal already? 
They're gonna send me over here? Sure is. Does that mean Roche is in this pit? Hello, Rosha. Knock, knock. He is. Dude, this is good. This makes invading so whack. Jesus Christ, everything's huge now. What are you? You're a lotus pool. Pool has no lotuses. You ever have a pool that has no lotuses? Dude, all the bots are going to be fucking broken as shit. Oh, oh, a man. Then fight me. Eat a blood grenade. Die then, then perish. On my Can I have a lotus? How does this work? I don't remember how this works. Can I have a lotus? Pool has no lotuses. Yes. All right, that's it. I'm ganking bottom. I'm getting in a funny portal. Can I just show up down here? There's a fucking jungle camp here? Or there will be if I wasn't fucking blocking it? Yeah, there it is. Huh. This is very weird. When do I get lotuses? Who has no lotuses? I did not- I don't remember what that- what that said and when it said it. How do Arc Warden die? What the fuck is this down here? Oh, is that the fucking... Where was the, like... Gain experience dot? Are you... No lotuses. There were, like, where was the experience orb thing? There was an experience orb thing somewhere. Is this... Are these white dots the watchers? They are the watchers. Give me a watcher. I would like to watch. Yeah, this definitely is like a Warcraft 3 custom type deal. Did they add more ancient camps? I didn't read if they added more ancient camps or if it's still just one ancient camp. I wiggle around. Well, this is like neat. The map feels so fucking gigantic now though. Holy shit, it's huge. I'm with you. Pool has no lotuses. When does the pool get lotuses? I forgore. I'm not a knower. Uh, can you still just like die pool? Yes. Sure can. Can I have a lotus? When do I get lotuses, dude? I want fuck. I want a lotus. Oh my god, there's a little back pathway here? What the fuck? There's so many new juke paths? Hello? I cue that man. What is this? What is this little white dot? Is this just the camp? Okay. Interesting. There's still a bounty rune at three minutes. Oh, there's a lotus! Huh. A lotus. Healing lotus. Instantly restore. Okay. Wow. The lotuses are three minute things? What if I go top again? Confirmed. We go kill people That's or something. Not for lime around. I'm gonna end up over there next to their outpost, but the outpost doesn't give vision anymore. So I should be able to just waddle down to this man. Hello, guy? Mr. Guy? Healing here. Push the tower team. Periodically? Is it not every five minutes? I use my Lotus! Is he smart enough to stay in it? No. Am I smart enough to not walk up and punch him? Oh. Well, this is- it, there, there's still some sort of Dota going on here, but it is. Whack as fuck. Jesus, everything's so big. Denied. Can did you guys touch your lotus pool up here? Oh, another lotus for me. 
Dude. I wish I could fast forward because it was it was at 10 minutes that the fucking the the Mega Man's spawn right. They come out of the fucking they come out of the ground. The big Giga Man's. That's a wait. This is a bounty rune. Oh, that's wait. Does that mean you have a bounty? Oh, you also have a bounty rune there. Shadows Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, macro game. I mean, they added a whole new fucking objective. So. What happened to my like arc warden? Where did he go? Right of passage. So that makes a mango noise. The lotus doesn't have its own unique sound effect. That's sad. I want to. I want to stay to ten minutes, but I also want to see if my art thing is starting. My art thing starting. I look. I messaged in it. The person that's supposed to be running it is offline. Which is mildly concerning. Is there another Lotus? What is it? Oh, it is every three minutes. I was like, what? That means if I teleport bottom, I can get the Giga Lotus. All right, we go bottom. Wait, I can just teleport. Wait, can I? Oh, no, I don't. Wait, I eat my... Never mind. I, I eat the Lotus. Can we, like, hit this building, Weaver? What if we hit this building? Wouldn't that be cool if we hit this building? I'm not buying items. I don't care. I want to see the I want to see the Giga Man at 10 minutes. I want to see John Gigaman. Hit the building. We fortify. All the bots are broken because they don't know where the towers are anymore. Come on, gamer. Hit the wave, Weaver. We need to keep our catapult alive. No! No, the catapult. Weaver's tanking. Good, Weaver. Good. I'll tank too. Catapult alive. Oh my god, is AM chasing me too? Hello, man. Confirmed. No, he's gonna stun me, I'm gonna die! Ah! 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 Weaver, help me! Ah! Oh! Oh! Weaver, help! No! Help me! Help me! Ah! Oh! Oh! Run down the bridge! There's new terrain! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, is the secret shop still here? Okay, it is. Thank God. Alright, what, like, new whack items can I buy? What's a new item? Give me harpoon. A spiritual journey. Wait, it's almost 10 minutes. Oh. oh boy, when we get to 10 minutes. Do I have like bounty runes? Oh no, this is the wisdom rune. This is not the bounty rune. Oh, I can get smarter. Oh, I'm so smart now. Wait, do they also have a wisdom rune? Where? Oh no, there are the other wisdom runes down there or something, right? I think. Maybe give me a lotus. Wait, hold on. Kill that man. Make him die. Ow. All right. Well, I made him die. He bought back. Wait for me. I am going to be killed by Ion Shell Man. No, I'm not. I live. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh no, they dusted. Oh no, there's like 40 people. Run, Weaver. <gasps> Run. Oh. 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 <laughs> we live in. We gamers. We gaming. Oh wait, there's there's a man now. Come team, come fight man. Where's man? Are you man? I thought it was ten minutes. Was I wrong? Is it not ten minutes? Is under attack. Is it not 10 minutes? Where's John Mann? I thought it was... Can somebody, like, look at the patch notes for me? Where's John Mann? I thought John Mann spawned at 10 minutes. Was I, was I wrong? Where's John Mann? What happened to John Mann? It's 20? That's, that's fucking, that's stupid. All right, let me see if my person who's running the, the thing is online. Oh, they're online. Okay, well, I pup pose, it is time. They killed him. Okay, it's time for me to go do my draw pile. Well, I didn't get to see John Mann, but I'm looking forward to seeing John Mann sometime soon. I will be back on Saturday, actually. We'll be doing a special stream on Saturday. Uh, Gurglerg is holding a fucking wacky Fortnite event where they will be, uh, having five billion gajillion different streamers competing together in Fortnite. Uh, I don't know how to play Fortnite as you saw last Thursday, uh, but I will do my best to contribute to whatever the fuck team I get put on. Is there anywhere we can watch the draw pile? Uh, I can message in the Discord if that's going to be a thing. But as I said, since it's my first time going in, I don't know if people are comfortable with it being streamed. Regardless, for now, we're going to go raid on out of here. Let's go say hi to... Go say hi to Sebi. Uh. And I will catch you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your week. And I'll see you on Saturday for some fucking goofy gaming. Catch you later. Have a good one. Hell yeah, Kedu. We'll have to do some more blending on sunday i'm fucking hype about it dude i'm you actually don't know how excited i am about it i'm fucking so hyped i'm gonna actually make like a sick fucking model i'm so hyped about it thank you again to everybody who supports me on patreon or by donating or subbing to the channel it means the world to me and for now we're gonna go say hi to sebi who is just starting up they're fin they're continuing super mario odyssey and they will have a great vibe go vibe with them i will see you later Yeah.